How much power for a 2024 Husqvarna FC250? Does it differ from our KTM model that we've tested and had on the channel? Is it different than the 22 and a half factory edition? We're gonna collect O2 data on the stock ECU on this bike, give you map one, map two. All right, now it's time for our big bore 270 kit for this 22 and a half onward version of the KTM Group bikes, as shown here on a brand new Husky. This bike uh, we baseline brand new for you guys, and now we're gonna run it with the 270 kit that we offer. <clears throat> now, this bike, we're gonna show you what it does with the stock ECU. We're gonna show you what it does with a tuned ECU. In this case, we'll be using a Git, but uh, there are options available that you can reflash the stock ECUs and get the air fuels right and play with the timing a little bit to get a similar result. So we wanna show you that here today. And then we're also gonna show you air box cover and off just so you kinda of have that data for you as well. Let's get it on the dyno. All right guys, here it is, moment of truth. Here is the Husqvarna 250F uh, in stock form. This is the OEM ECU on the 250F, and that is the uh, white map. So let me pull up a 250F with the green map real quick. So that's the green map there in red, and essentially no real major difference, right? Pretty much the same. And if you can look, the air fuels are about the same across the board with the stock ECU on the stock 250, about 12.8 over there. And uh, then it dips down here at about 9,800 to 12.2. And then it's 12.6, 12.4, 12 12.5, 12 and it kind of richens up on the top end. So that's what the stock setup does. So here is the OEM ECU with the 270. And as you can see, we got nice gains. However, it's not huge like we would hope, what we would expect out of a 270. What kind of power can you expect from a 270? Well, do basic math. It's uh, 20 cc larger than a 250, which is under 10%, 6-7%. And 6-7% uh, equates to, you know, if it's a 40 horse motorcycle, 10% would be four. So between two and a half and three horsepower would be probably your goals if everything's matched up, running right, ports are sized right, everything matches your 270. So why does this kit not make the horsepower and gains that we would like? Well, look at the air fuel ratios. When you have the stock ECU unmapped, untuned, it went from stock of 1280.83 right there, air, air fuel ratio, and this is on a gasoline uh, scale, so it's not actually 100% accurate, but to 14.05. And if you go across the board, like over here, um, if I can get my mouse to click, so that's 10.5, it's 13.5 versus 12.21. And I'll tell you right now that on these motorcycles, if you're leaner than 13.0, generally speaking, you're going to lose power or not make power. So that's where it is stands there. So let's go look at another test. So let's pull up a 270 with a Git ECU. And that's right here. This is final configuration. Both of these are on pump gas. Boom, look at those gains. Now we're cooking. Down here at, let's go to 7,000 RPM. 7,000 down there. 7,000 RPM, we are now from 2628 with a 270 versus 2279. So you're talking about not quite a three and a three and a half horsepower right there. Let's go to 8,000 horsepower. So right here at 8,000, 3119 versus 2779. So just under four horsepower. All right, moving on to 9,000 RPM. 3631 on the 270 versus 3204. So a four and 4.3 horsepower improvement. So we're starting to get pretty serious gains. These are the kind of gains that we would hope for. Right here is probably our best gain. Right there at 10.7. 4152 versus 3685, so that's massive. And then at peak horsepower up here at the top, 4031 versus 4268. So two and a little bit more horsepower at the very very top of the curve. Right here is a little bit better than that, 3914, 4195 as it starts to sign over. Why did we pick up all that power? Well, we got the tune-up right. So here's air fuel down at the bottom, and you can see on our Git ECU here in blue, this is the tune-up we ended up with that it liked best. Um, we got the air fuel at about 13 down there at the bottom. Right here at 9,000, we got it at 12.17. This is on pump gas, and that's just what this bike liked. 
and then it moves across and it gets a little richer on the top end. Again, just what this bike liked best. We tested quite a bit just to find what it liked. And also this gives us some wiggle room. This is with the airbox cover on. If you pull it off, it's worth another about half horsepower. And then the air fuel ratios lean out a little bit and uh, it's just all around good so that we have the room to do that with our map. So that means the map can work with the cover on or can work with the cover off. So what do you think about our 270 guys making huge gains? I'll promise you this. You can try to tell me otherwise. If you want to prove me wrong, bring your bike to this dyno and we will dyno it for YouTube. You will not find a bolt on on a 250 that will do anything remotely close to these gains. Everybody out there saying they're getting 10 horsepower gains with a super simple port job and an ECU and some fuel is just spewing crap. So that's a really good gain. We're happy with it. It's pump gas friendly and uh, it's long term durable, reliable horsepower that will hold up hour after hour because you're not changing the components that normally are required to get more power out of these 250s, such as cams and punishing valve springs and things like that. So we're excited to offer it to you guys. These are available 22 and a half onward KTM Husky and 23 and a half gas gas, 23 KTM Husky and onward. So if you have one of those new platforms, you want a 270, hit us up hpracedevelopment.com. We're going to have them on the website. And of course you can shoot me an email and we'll get one shipped out to you. Uh, these things run really, really good and excited to bring it to market. I'm Derek Harris and I'll see you next time.